Hi, I'm Armando Fox, and I'm one of your instructors for CS 169.2x, part two of Engineering Software as a Service here on edX. Welcome to the course, and I'm hoping some of you recognize me from CS 169.1x, part one of Software as a Service, which is a prerequisite for this course. Unless you're thoroughly familiar with the material in the first part, we don't recommend that you take this part cold. One of the most important topics we cover in this course is working with legacy code. That was identified as the number one topic among all the software companies that we surveyed of important skills for professional software developers to have. You'll also learn about design patterns, about working in software teams, and using version control tools like Git and GitHub to support team activities. You'll learn about JavaScript and its role in the software as a service ecosystem, and you'll learn the basics of performance and security, collectively called DevOps, or development and operations. This course uses material in the second half of the optional textbook, Engineering Software as a Service. Like part one, the material in the course and covered in the book is also available in many places online for free. However, unlike part one, you may find that the material is not as well organized online, so you may find the book relatively more helpful in this course than it was for part one. During the course, we'll have two homeworks on legacy code and one simple homework on DevOps and performance. We should point out that the Berkeley students who took this course and are now working in industry have reported that the topics covered in this course are among the most valuable in their day-to-day -day jobs as professional software developers. Thanks again for your attention, and we hope you have a great time, and good luck in the course.